Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to convert uh, this function component in the class component. We are going to learn first the class components. And after that, we are going to convert all the class components in the function components. So you can understand both uh, the class components and function components in uh, React. And I'm going to use the class components first because I think class component is more easy to understand when react and how react uh, render and re-render because for me to learn react we need to understand when react is rendering and is re-rendering the application this is more core and essential thing to understand with react Okay, because when we are going to work with state, when we change the state, the React is going to update the DOM, so it's going to re-render that uh, function component, for example. So let's start and change this in the class components. How we can do that is easy, so we can, first we need to import the component from react okay import this component from react and here now instead of function we need to say class name app and we need to extend that component we imported so extends the component okay now and the class we need first the render so what i said is more easy to understand when we render and re-render in the at what and what we render in so we say render here and what we are going to render we are going to render this html kind of html because it's not html so let's pass that return function here and we are going to return this so we we are going to render uh, this uh code this is jsx it's looking like html but it's not so if i save and if i come here now and refresh nothing change and if i remove everything here and let's remove now the logo we don't need that and let's say here just h1 welcome to laraveller save and you can see here who help welcome to laraveller now you need to remember we need here not just class but class name because class is reserved in the javascript and also we cannot add another div here we need have only one parent div so we need to have a div and inside we can add what we want okay that's it how easy is the change from function component into class components and we are going to start with class create some components and in the end we are going to convert all the class components in the function components and use hooks for the state. So that's about this video and see you in the next one, friends. All the best.